Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Henry here for the Rubicon line. And today we're gonna be uh, hitting the streets of SPA, getting a feel on how the student body is feeling about the future coming on these next few weeks um, with prom just around the corner. So uh, stay tuned um, and stay with us. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with uh, sophomore Charlotte Goings. Charlotte, if you could be any uh, type of food raining from the sky and cloudy with a chance of meatballs, uh, what food would you be and why? Um, I think rice, because it wouldn't hurt anyone and like there wouldn't be a big mess. If you were in the movie, cloudy with a chance of meatballs, and you could be any type of food falling from the sky, what type of food would you be? Mm, probably a glazed donut. How are you feeling about the weather out, out here today? I'm feeling pretty good. I ate part of my lunch outside today and it wasn't too cold, so I liked it. That's incredible. You know, we've been asking people, if you could be any food in Cloudy with a chance of meatballs falling from the sky, <laughs> what food would you be? <laughs> wasn't there like a big hamburger that was like eating people and stuff? Yeah, there sure was. For sure, okay. I think I'd be the hamburger then. Hey, uh, James, can I interview you for the Rubicon? Absolutely, Henry. Uh, we've been asking people, what do you think the best institutionalized response to oil shortages on a global scale are? I would say pushing for more sustainable energy sources. I think we need to diversify our holdings and um, expand expand uh, on renewable sources of energy. For sure. Thank and, you, James. Uh, here with Dean Thornberry, uh, who will be departing our faculty later this year. Are there any words of wisdom that you'd like to leave with the student body? Well, I'm going to go ahead and quote Richard Nixon. Um, always give your best never to get, get discouraged, never be petty, and always remember others may hate you, but those who hate you don't win, and else you hate them, and then you destroy yourself. All right, we're up here um, with sophomore McKinley Garner. Uh, do you think consciousness emerges principally as um, a result of the matter in our brains as a materials point of view? Do you stray more towards the dualist view that there's really something um, essential to the human brain that's mystical that we don't yet understand? Uh, I'm gonna go with the latter. All right, uh, we're here with Mr. Roberts, uh, our head of school who will be departing uh, next year. Uh, Mr. Roberts, do you have any uh, words of wisdom for students as uh, you wrap up your year and they wrap up theirs? Well, I'll, I'll leave it up to them to determine if the words are wise, but I've had an extraordinary career here over 16 years. It's been uh, a remarkable pleasure and honor to, to lead the school. I've learned much every day and I hope that every student at SPA has the same kind of sense of fulfillment and satisfaction when they graduate. Henry, uh, you know, the year's wrapping up. We're seeing how students are feeling. How are you feeling about uh, your future life after SPA? Uh, yeah, so basically, um, in the, uh, um. All right, thank you. Keep it real. Excuse me, Dante, Dante. Hey, uh, could we ask you a question for the Rubicon? Here with Dante, he's a senior. Dante, you're going to be leaving the SPA community next year. Is there anything that you hope you're remembered by here on campus? I hope that I'm remembered as a kind person that a lot of people got along with. I'm here with a senior, Milo Zell. If you could be any uh, type of food from the blockbuster film Cloudy with a type of meatballs raining from the sky, what type of food would you be? I think I would be uh, linguine. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, it was incredible to talk to everyone out here today on the, uh, the streets of SPA. Um, this is my final broadcast as Rubicon staff member. Um, so just want to say if you're a reader, thanks for, uh, thanks for being there. Thanks for reading the work. And uh, I hope everyone has an excellent rest of your day and an excellent rest of your year. Uh, goodbye and good night.